it's a from Marvis artist. Today we'll continue the post-production process of this image. First of all, if you haven't watched the first part of this video, be sure to check it out first. I put the link in the corner for your reference. Okay, so now let's see what else we can improve here. Okay, so now let's do some overall adjustments. I always like adding curves to boost the overall contrast. So I create this sort of S shape. I don't want this effect to be super strong, so I do a more subtle shape. I move the ZDEV to the selection folder as it's actually more for masking purposes. I'll use the ZDEV as a mask to the additional curves adjustment. Why? My goal is to make the foreground more sharp and clear, while the background more blurry and less contrasty. Let me show you. I use ZDEV to create a nice transit between more and less contrasty parts of the image. Go to Channel Stop and click with Ctrl on the RGB channel to use it as a selection. Ok, so you can see that this adjustment works more intense on the foreground. And this is what we want. So let me adjust it. I'll add additional contrast in the foreground. Now copy the layer and invert the mask. Ctrl plus I. I go to the properties and now I make it less contrasty and clear by making it more bright. I show you the difference. If you have problems with understanding it, I advise you to put the hue saturation layer on top. This way you can really easily see what is going on. You can notice that before it was too flat and evenly contrasted I would say. And after adding these two adjustments, the foreground is much more contrasty and sharp than the background. We can delete this mask. The next step will be applying the LUT to make the colors more consistent. I always like to go through most of them to see in which direction I want to go and what helps the image the most. So you can see the image can be warmer or more towards blues. There are many options, but I will go with this one. Of course, the effect is too strong. I decrease the opacity. So we can see that it makes colors more consistent. We can add more than one LUT, however, we need to be careful with this. I try to add something additional here to add a more tropical look. adjust the opacity. I think we should adjust yellows a bit as I'd like to have it more warm and toned down. Let me test it a bit. It's all about checking different variations. I will add a bit of magenta. and subtract a bit of cyan, so add red. Also, I will make it a bit brighter. I think I should try to work on greens as well. But to be sure, if it's the right direction, I check it by turning on and off the layer. Yes, that's definitely better. I'll adjust the overall saturation as well. Something like this. Anyway, we can work on adjusting colors here as well. I would boost yellows a bit. And I think cyan could be more saturated as well. 
you can see that it adds a nice color and fresh look to the water. I would love to walk there right now and admire these views. It will be cool. What do you think? Anyway, stop dreaming and let's go back to work. I group all newly created adjustments so we can see the whole progress. This is much better. More tropica, fresh and inviting look. We can also take a look at the total progress. I like to add one more thing to the base render. So I convert it to the smart object to have more control if I needed to change it. Now go to filter, sharpen, and sharp mask. I don't want to add too much, so I set a low amount value and a big radius. We can check the difference here. Ok, I think it works nice and adds a bit of sharpness, but not too much. Now I add the vignetting effect. So select all and go to select and transform select. Let's scale it down evenly. And now we'll use feather selection, shift plus F6, to make the selection more smooth. I'll add the curves and make it brighter in the center. Now I copy the layer, invert the mask, and I'll make corners darker. I'll quickly show you how the mask looks by clicking on it with Alt. I like to add this effect as it makes the center pop out more. We can move it to the adjustments group and I would rename it as uh, Color Corrections. Ok, now I go to the correct Multimate element and I select the ferns. I'll make them slightly brighter. Maybe I'll subtract a bit of blues from them. Let's see the greens. I adjust reds as well. Let me show you the difference. Ok, it will be good to work on the rocks as well. Again, let's select it from the multimat element and I will make it more pop-up by using curves. Awesome! Not a big difference, but it helps. Hmm, let me think about what to do next. Maybe the trees. I think there should be more contrast between those that are closer and those that are far away from us. Again, I use curves to do this. I group them all and rename it. Whatever, let's say color selected. Ok, that's it for today. Believe me or not, but there are still things we can do to improve this image. Let me know in the comments if you would like me to do the third part of this series. Thanks for watching, also don't forget to like this video if you found this interesting, share it, subscribe and do all these wonderful things. See you guys in the next video!